So let's take a quick look at the rollout features for Premiere Pro FX. Now, with the ready-made effects inside Premiere Pro FX, you're going to have the ability to roll out the effect and continue the animation. So in this case, if I go to FX Master Studio, all these different effects are going to have both the video effect as well as the sound design built in. So you could just simply double click and roll out the video effect and sound. So if I were to double click here, just add this to my timeline, you're going to see that I have a default set of video and sound design. However, I can just roll these out and continue the sound design and animation. Now with this particular category, it's going to go to about 30 seconds of sound design and animation. But it's a pretty cool feature. You can see you have multiple layers of pro sound design right here and you can just continue to roll it out and it's going to be all unique. Now in Transition Master, these are going to be more set. So you're going to have a set amount of speed here. However, if you go into something like Color Master, you know, you can continue to roll out the layer, the default layer, as much as you need for your color grades. So if you need to do an hour, two hours, you're going to have all that. And again, you would just double click and you can just roll out the layer to as much as you need. In this case, if I go to Look and Effects Studio, you're going to have a bunch of builders. So you're going to have the VHS builders, glitch builders, and all these different looks and effects are going to have both animations as well as video type of looks. So if you double click, once again, I can just move this over. And you can see here that in this case, I have the animation and I can just continue to roll it out. So with this like little shake effect, you're going to be able to continue this on. And this is going to go for a pretty long time. Now, if I were to go into the camera motion category, and if I go down into something like the handheld camera, and if we just scroll over, we can see we have all different handheld camera styles from moderate to heavy, heavy bumps, little light type of handheld styles. I'm going to try to find something chaotic like chaos. This works. You can just double click. And again, you're going to go into the effects control and I can see all the animation keyframes. So I can just roll this out and cover my shot for as much as I need. So here, if I would just get another shot and I want to continue this effect again, I'm just going to roll this out. Just a quick tip of ready-made effects and animations that you have the ability to roll out and that's it. Enjoy.